What's going on, everybody? This is Lemon Drop 14E back with more Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing action. Now, last episode, we went to Woodley in the 305 Sprints, got an 11th place finish. Really would have liked to have that top 5, or top 5, top 10 rather, but top 5 would have been great too, but who, you know, whatever. Also, I think I have discovered your money is separated per series. So, like right now in the um, TQ midgets, I've got 15, 9, 25. If I were to jump to a, a 305 race, I think I would have like 6,000. And I think that's because after, when you start a team after a season, they pretty much make you start a brand new team. So I picked the same name, Nasty Badger, for both. So it's kind of hard to, I, I didn't pick that up right away. But either way, I think that's the case. So, knowing that, I'm going to start saving up for some better uh, chassis and suspension on the TQ. But they're like thirty and 40000 So, we have a lot of money to save up. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are at the track, and they are wanting us to get a 12.38 for our practice time. I think that's doable. The sad thing is, the last race we did was at this track in the 305s. And I feel like... The lap times are going to be very comparable, which is sad, but I like that Metallica song. Sad, but true. Let's see what we can do right off the rip here. Not to get in a wreck, that'd be cool. Yeah, beat the time, even with kind of a squirrely lap. So I'm going to turn one more quick one. See if we can't do it a little bit better yet. Corey Clay also, they're always hanging around being a little bit of a thorn in the side of us. That's okay, just good competition, right? Yeah, slow down out of that corner. I'll do one more lap, because I really feel like we kind of have this, uh, have this one down pretty well. Yeah, it seems as if I'm pretty competitive with Corey, so, yeah, I'm good here. I usually don't do that with practice, I usually turn a handful of laps. But I was getting literally faster every lap. Just barely that last one, though. But we got that sponsor bonus. That's all I'm worried about. Let's get to qualifying. The pole is an 11.36, and we turned an 11.37. I think we can do this. Um, mainly because we're not going to have any cars buzzing around us here. We're just going to be able to run the line I want to. Which I think is definitely the fastest way around. I'm going to get two shots at it here. Not the best exit there, or the best entrance here. Not even going to look at my time, I'm just going to go. Bad corner, eh. I think the first lap's going to be a little bit faster. Alright, first lap is, I don't even know. An 11.4, what was the, what's the pull? I think it was like an 11.3 something, 11.38, 3.7. 3-6, okay. So, Corey Clay beat us by 4 one-hundredths of a second. That's not so bad. I can live with that. I mean, it's not much I'm going to do about it now, at least, so. But that does put us on the pole for the second heat. So, let's get uh, this heat race turned in. Hopefully, we can uh, race our way into the qualifying heat race or whatever they call that qualifying sprint dash for cash whatever they call that um, that way we can fight or fight it out for a pole position in the feature race or at the very least a third place start because this is a um, shorter race than the 305s where that race seemed to drag on just a bit because I was kind of mid-pack you know hanging out top 10 um, this one will be going by really quick because we are fast and we are hopefully not going to start on the outside where we don't have to waste a bunch of time trying to get to the bottom. But it looks like we have thoroughly got this field whooped, which is fine. <laughs> I mean, can't really ask for more than that. But it is nice to have a consistently fast car because it is fun when you have a car that's not exactly the fastest in the world but you really kind of you work the track you work the other cars around you and you, you can squeeze out a pretty decent finish for what you have that's gonna always be the most satisfying way to do it but 
it is nice just to have a fast car straight up, you know. I had to bang a little bit there to get down to the inside from uh, whoever that is behind me. I think Paxson. Ooh, don't want to do this. There we go. Wow, what a run that was. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Bad entry. Try not to lose it here. Another bad entry. Gosh. There we go, a little bit better. Hey, check me out running away with it here. Good battle in there in the, the beginning, but uh, managed to get away from him pretty well. Nice. I think Corey Clay fought his way back up to second place, though. We'll have to see. And he did not. Oh, he, he's starting fifth. So we got an all-14 front row, it looks like, for the feature race. But I did actually beat Smoke by a little over a second. So if I can do that, um, this A main, huh, not, not bad if you can beat Tony Stewart by that much. So, okay, here we go. Gotta relax. Gotta let the race come to us. Hit our marks when we can. Don't try and overcompensate for other cars being around us, you know? There we go. Now it's just time to start hitting our marks. Another car low, trying to work me over a little bit. I'm gonna take his nose off because I can do that. I'm running a little bit more of a wild line than he is. Wow, he got washed up. Uh oh. That ain't good to go off the track like that. My nose is itching like no tomorrow. Hold on. Gotta scratch that piece. Okay, now we're back. <laughs> Oh boy, that was like the end of the world itchiness right there. Kind of boogered up that corner. Well, I'm not sure what happened behind me, but I think whoever that green car was on the inside got boogered up and really slowed down everyone behind him. Hopefully that is the case. All right, had a pretty uh, big, big break in the action there for me, so... I don't remember where I'm at. Looks like I'm getting ready to go into a corner, and I'm turning right for some reason, which is always kind of scary. But okay, here we go. I just popped the gas. I had no confidence going into that corner. <laughs> sort of like here. I need to get around this lap traffic as efficiently as possible, because second place will always be coming right down my neck. Getting out way hard there, because that was a horrible entrance car was really kind of in the way. Now here we go. Leader coming up on cars. You just Google, hey cool paint job. Looks like my uh, 403, 403, 304, what is that called? 305 car. Goodness. Again, I am really getting on and off the brakes here. Not the brakes, but the gas. I am really struggling getting around some of these cars. Catching them at horrible times in the track, you know. I can really mess up a line in an entire lap time. Good corner there, Flores. Hold your line, my dude. Or come down and hit me. It's also an option of something you could do, I guess. I'm starting to come into the corners a little too early for some reason or another. Not sure what my deal is. Need to calm down, really. Pringus, my old rival. Get good scrub. Hayden Rake, also an older rival. Running right in the way is all he was doing. Tony Stewart, what's happening to you today, bud? Well, he starts second in this piece? Yeah, he did. Okay. About to get stinking wrecked. And there's the lead gone because of the daggum lapped cars. I am going to get something out of them. Nope, going to get third place. Oh, I can't express how annoying that is. Oh. Robbie Rowland. That is a name I don't recall. <laughs> well, who are you? <laughs> okay, so as usual, here I am. Watching the replay after the race. To see if we can find out what happened here and really got me boogered up. See if it was actually their fault or if it was mine. 
Here's where I'm coming up on Tony. Is he actually... No, he doesn't get into me. That was... That was all me. Threw it in a little bit too hard and almost looped it. Yep. And right there he was. Caught me at a bad spot in the corner. Made me get a late entry. And there goes... There goes the race right there. I had a chance to throw it in like a total jerk, but I just slid up because I threw it in too deep. Oh, uh, Heartbreak Hotel up in here. Oh well. Better luck next time, I guess. And as much as I want to blame that lap car, that was actually, that was all me. Tried to force it. I sh honestly, I could have just taken the high side. It's not like second place was going to be gaining much on me if he was down low. So yeah, shot myself in the foot on that deal. Super frustrating. Doggone it. I am going to be upset for a few minutes. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the garage with our head down low. Alright, so we gained almost $3,500. Smooth driving. Man, that that's just a kick right in the pants. That's going to be hanging with me for a while. <laughs> Okay, no, see, I'm totally wrong. Here's a 305 race, and I still have the $19,000. So the the money is not separate. I really thought it was. Weird, I guess I just wasn't paying attention to how much money I had at the end of the last race. Oh, well, whatever. Better luck next time. Hopefully, I won't throw away a race on the last, second to last lap next episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe. That'd be really cool if you did that for me. Uh, anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.